and welcome to Theme Park Academy. I am Tour Guide Barbie and today's lesson is some more parks that you may not know about in the downtown Orlando area. For our first stop, we have two parks directly across the street from each other. This is down Central Boulevard, just east of downtown, and you have the Carl T. Langford Park across the street from the Dixon Azalea Park. Both are very pretty and both have very old and they have some very unique aspects. What's cool about Langford Park is you have these meeting spaces here. You've got a couple covered pavilions and then you have some picnic tables that are not covered. You have water fountains, you have grills. And all of this is just first come, first serve. You can just show up and use them at your leisure. One thing that's super cool that you find all over downtown Orlando is these free libraries. Basically, you can just put a book in and then you can return it at any time. You can put your own books in if you want to. You can return it at a different one. I think it is such a cool thing that our community does. Mm. Ooh, Princess Di. So we just happened upon this little amphitheater. What a cool space this is. I don't know what happens here. I have questions and I am going to get some answers. Mainly, when can I premiere my sock puppet show in this space? Now we are across the street at Dixon Azalea Park. This is one of my favorite, favorite places to go in Orlando. This park is a lot smaller and it's a lot, I guess you could say wilder than Langford across the street. This has a lot more gardens in it. The paths here are dirt. They're not paved like they are at Langford. And there's a gorgeous, gorgeous little historic bridge that we're going to show you in a little bit. Great tree climbing trees here. So this is the Washington Street Bridge. It was built in 1926. It's very significant in architecture and how it was built. And it's the only bridge like this in all of Orlando. So it is a very historical, famous Orlando landmark. I can premiere my lovely dress. Yet another stage in Dixon Azalea Park. This one, however, I think is more suitable for spoken word, maybe slam poetry. Like you say something, and you slam something down. Azaleas! Azaleas are in my soul! Azaleas! They're not in a hole! Azaleas! Thank you. Cypress Grove Park, a little more south into Orlando, a little further away from downtown. 
what's most notable about this park is it is huge and there are wide open fields so it's really good for activities like frisbee football baseball whatever you're into it has a beautiful lake it's really close to Fort Gatlin, so this is kind of where Orlando started. And of course, you've got all these beautiful trees and picnic tables all around. It's a very beautiful, very well-maintained park. And if you don't know about it, you definitely need to come see it for yourself. looking for a spot to do some engagement photos or wedding photos or really any kind of photo shoot just about this would be an amazing location the playground at this park is also very cool for a wide variety of ages they've got the really nice soft ground and it's very very clean and you don't have to worry about your kids playing on here and sticking things in their mouths. I mean they shouldn't do that but maybe it's less bad here. They also have a beautiful, beautiful event space here. So if you're looking for a place to have a wedding that is scenic, definitely look into this. Retirement party, graduation party, any function would be beautiful here. Our next stop is my neighborhood, Lake Davis. I cannot tell you how much time we spend around here. It is a beautiful walk. There are gorgeous homes all around, lots of different wildlife, including the Swampia. This is actually where the term came from was this lake because they would always steal the food from all the other birds, but I don't see them out here today. So they must have had another situation to contend with. Now, hey, the most important thing about Lake Davis is Halloween. This neighborhood is lit. I'm talking full size. Full size Snickers. Full size Starburst. What? This neighborhood, full size. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Cheers. <laughs> Best house. Lake Davis Halloween. What? I found one, clearly planning another ambush, probably on the trumpeter swans from the other day. It'll be interesting to see how this unfolds. One of my favorite things about Lake Davis is you can see the downtown Orlando skyline. Especially at night, it's all lit up, so pretty. is further east we are now in Baldwin Park this is Lake Baldwin here there is a great bike trail there is a dog park there's a really really cute little downtown section in Baldwin Park if you haven't been out here yet you need to come check it out at least once it's a really really neat area so now we're gonna get on our bikes and show you let's go You've got Lake Emerald Park, which 
has a sign in Lake Emerald. Our last location, also in the south downtown Orlando area, is the Greenwood Urban Wetlands. This is basically just a really nice nature walk around this lake here. There is some fishing that you can do. There's some really neat wildlife you can see in the area. It's also very close to the Greenwood Cemetery, which is the most historic cemetery in Orlando. It's where some of the Orlando founding fathers can be found. I'd love to show it to you. Let's go. Believe it or not, this is not planned, but we just found our friend Brian All Business Benoit out here fishing. Sound man extraordinaire. Fisherman extraordinaire. And fisher extraordinaire. Hello guys. Hi. Surprise. I know. You're gonna catch, are you gonna catch a bluegill? No, you're gonna catch a uh, largemouth bass. Look, whoop. See, look, one just hit it right there. Ooh, look, he's see my line swimming. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hold on, hold on, John. <laughs> That's too funny. That's about the size of my bait. <laughs> Yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna let that fish go. <laughs> Urban wetlands. I do believe they have one of those little libraries, or as someone very wise called it, library on a stick. Let's go see if we can find it. stories from Wayside School. I love this book as a kid. This is a great book. If you don't know about it, look into it. It's ridiculous. So this is really cool. This is a community garden. Different people can come and rent a bed and they all help maintain it. Leon just scored some beautiful collard greens. Look at this and we just get to just take them home right now. I've seen a few of these around Orlando too. They're in a few different spots and I always love looking at this one. So cool that we do this here. Orlando, Orlando's awesome. We scored some celery and some tomatoes too. Mmm. We are so excited today because we have special guest, Tim Warren, who's been helping us out with these amazing, amazing drone shots. His company is Higher Power Drone Photography. Check them out. We're going to put the link in the descriptions. Thank you. You're welcome. We have fun. Fun with flying. <laughs> I hope you've learned a little bit more about the parks here in the downtown Orlando section. Go ahead, leave us a comment. Let us know what your favorite one was. And if you don't mind, give us a like. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe. Once again, I am Tour Guide Barbie. Thank you so much for joining us. Class dismissed. Are we gonna name him? Jerome, <laughs> Jerome and Rome, Jerome and Rome, get bigger, buddy. Get out of here, boy. <laughs> That's too funny. I didn't want to show Brian up, so I left my fishing pole at home. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah, you can wait till we get home, okay? Somebody's got a crown behind him.
What's going on? Bug in my eye. Do you see it? A bug? Yeah, do you see it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Stop, it, stop, it, stop, it. stop. Look at me. Look at me. Cypress grow. Uh, nope. One more time. Uh, just a little more uh, north into Orlando. No, south. <sighs> Whatever. South Orlando. Is it? Oh, I knew that. Okay. <laughs> now we're at Cypress Grove Park. It's a very beautiful, very well maintained park. Maintained. Not maintained. This is a very beautiful, very well made. Stops here. This is the end. You can go no further. End of park. <laughs>